Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweetenacho and in this tutorial I'll be showing how you can easily edit a raw photo in Photoshop from the very start to the very end. So in this, you're going to be learning and understanding how to edit your raw images, how to process and color correct your images, how to color grade your images in Photoshop, and finally how to save and export your photos when it comes to exporting and saving your photos in Photoshop. So simply like this video, don't forget to subscribe if you're watching. And you're not subscribed to this channel so in order to import a raw image in photoshop simply right click on the photo that you want to edit and choose the photoshop version that you want to use so i'm just going to select photoshop 2025 because that is what i'm going to be using for this tutorial and it's going to automatically open the image in the camera raw filter so in the camera raw filter what we want to do is first of all correcting the lighting and contrast issues regarding this very image so what i'll do in this case I'll simply come and take the exposure down a little bit and take the highlights down and do the same for the whites. Then I'll take the blacks down just to add more information in dark areas and open up the shadows. Then I'll come and add contrast to the image. So after doing that, I'll just come and slightly warm up the image to around 5800 kelvins because I felt like it was more on the blue side and after I've done that the next thing is going to be opening up the shadows a little bit more and slightly bringing up the exposure so this is what we have right now so after doing that I'll just come down to my color mixer option so under this we have hue saturation and luminance hue is basically changing a given color to look like a color below it or above it so you can make the reds look like the color that is the magentas or you can make the reds look like color below it which is the oranges saturation is the intensity of a given color luminance is the brightness levels of a given color you can darken the reds or you can brighten the reds so basically that is the how the color mixer panel works when it comes to editing your images so I'm just going to first of all come to hues and as you know I tend to make the greens pop by making the greens towards the yellows rather towards the greens and I'll do the same for the greens but that is a little bit too much so I'll just take this down slightly then I'll come to my saturation and desaturate both the yellows and the greens just like that but that is a little bit too much so I'll just slightly desaturate them and I'll come back to this and also slightly take down the greens. I think that is okay. And when you feel like the saturation is a little bit too much, you can always come and take down the saturation to your liking. So after you have done that, the next thing is going to be handling the luminance. Remember, luminance is about the brightness levels of a given color. So I'll just come and slightly darken the oranges because... I just want to have more contrast within uh, the model's skin tone. And after correcting the image, the next thing is going to be opening the image in Photoshop for us to do the final adjustments like skin retouching. So just come and press open in order to open the image in Photoshop. So right now, this is what we have in Photoshop. And the very first thing I tend to do when it comes to editing is cropping the image. So I'll just get the crop tool and select 4x5 or 8x10. And after doing that, I'll just crop in a little bit to get rid of the soft box. And I'll just take this slightly higher. And that, when I feel like I'm comfortable with that, I'll simply hit enter or return on the keyboard. Then I'll come and get my patch tool and circle around the soft box and drag it up to replace the soft box and get rid of it. So this is what I'm trying to do. And I'll do the same for this other side. So after cropping the image, the next thing is going to be editing the image. Then before editing, we have to first of all understand frequency separation. It is a skin writing technique that is going to bed the image into the textures and the colors. So just come to this image and press Ctrl J. Or you can use Command J on the keyboard. So press Command J twice. Then double click rename this to low frequency and double click rename this to high frequency and after doing that the next thing is going to be simply coming right here to the low frequency layer and hide the high frequency layer 
then simply come to filter and come to blur and come to gaussian blur so when you come to gaussian blur simply take the radius all the way down and you click on to the skin and when you click on the skin start taking up the radius slider so left click and start dragging up the radius slider and stop at the point whereby the textures all the details in the image are just starting to disappear all the details in the skin like the skin texture click ok so for this case i'm using four pixels so just come and select the high frequency and now come and activate it so when you activate the high frequency layer, the next thing is simply coming right here to image and come to apply image so when you come to apply image you can say this is a 16-bit image so if i told you have eight it means your image is going to be an 8-bit image so just come and select the low frequency layer. the source is going to be the name of the image so for a 16-bit image change the blend mode to add the scale has to be 2 so just type in 2 and offset 0 or pass at 100 percent preserve transparency and mask cannot check and you turn on the invert option and you see the textures on this gray layer then if at all you're dealing with an 8-bit image simply don't turn on the invert option use the blend mode of subtract the scale has to be 2 and offset 128 and we'll have the same settings so mine is a 16-bit image so i'll just turn this to add scale is to offset zero and simply turn on the invert option and click ok so just come to the blend, blend mode and change it from normal and select linear light so select both layers and press ctrl g on the keyboard or you can use command g on the keyboard then click to open up the group then come and hide the low frequency layer and select so you hide the high frequency layer and select the low frequency layer rather so come under the brushes right click and get the mixer brush tool and whichever tool is selected in photoshop the settings are always going to display above here so just come and make sure the hardness is set to zero percent make sure a clean brush is selected and make sure the option that says clean the brush after each and stroke has been has been selected with the weight of nine percent load 75 mix at 90 flat 100 percent we just want to work on the skin using the mr brush tool so how to apply the mr brush tool we don't zoom all the way in we touch at a distance and how to apply we simply mix the colors to blend them so you left click and hold down and you mix a color that looks alike then if at all you want to work on a new color left click and hold down and you mix that color remember we are using a small brush so mix a highlight alone and while it is transitioning from the highlight to another color reduce on the size and you blend that boundary so reduce on the size and continue mixing and as we're doing this if at all you want to increase or decrease on the size of the mr brush tool you can use the open and close brackets on the keyboard those are going to be changing the sizes of your mr brush tool as you're trying to work on the skin so increase on the size and also work on the neck area so we just want to blend the skin tones on this very image so that we can end up with nicely transitioned skin color so so just do this you have to move the strokes of the brush depending on the direction of the part of the body you, you are working on so i'm basically brushing in this diagonal form because the hand is moving in this diagonal form or direction so i'll just come and also mix on this other hand so mix just like that so for this step we are basically trying to blend or even out the skin tone of uh, the image or of the model so just come and blend just like that So when you're done blending the transitions between the skin, simply turn on the high frequency layer and you can see this is a before, after, before, after. So after doing that, you, ha you now have to remove the pimples or skin imperfections or the blemishes from the subject skin. So select the high frequency layer and now come and get the clone stamp tool. Zoom into the image by using Ctrl plus on the keyboard or you can use Command plus on the keyboard. Reduce on the size of the clone stamp tool and make sure the blend is normal. Hardness at 0%, opacity the flat 100%, align the selected, and the sample is set to current layer. So, to remove a blemish, we simply hold down the option key on the keyboard and 
left click on the keyboard so you hold down the option key on the keyboard and left click near the blemish and simply left click over the blemish after releasing the alt alternate key on the keyboard or after releasing the option key on the keyboard so one more time we hold down the option key or the alternate key on the keyboard and left click to sample a clean area near the blemish and simply release the option key or you can release the alternate key on the keyboard and simply left click over the pimple or the blemish to eliminate it so this is what we are doing in this case so just take your time as you're trying to remove the pimples or blemishes from skin so after doing that the next thing is going to be working on the skin and creating an even skin color so you can say before and after for skin retouching so in order to create even skin tone simply come and select the gradient map layer and after doing that simply select the gradient icon and hide the gradient layer then come to the properties and simply left click on the color option make sure the sample is set 5 by 5 average and sample is set all layers so 5 by 5 and sample is set all layers and show sampling ring is selected then left click on this color right here and make sure the location is zero then left click on the color option zoom into the image and choose a darkest point of the model skin and click ok then click on the brightest pointer make sure the location is 100 then left click on the color option and simply choose what you feel is the brightest point of the model skin click ok and now we have to click in the middle type the location 50 then left click on the color option and choose what should represent the midtones and click ok so after doing that just come and click ok now come and activate the layer and change the blend mode from normal and change it all the way down to color and after doing that select the white layer mask right here and press ctrl i on the keyboard to invert the effect then come back to the brushes right click and get the brush tool and make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches so to reset if at all you have any other random color press d on the keyboard or you can simply left click on these tiny boxes so make sure white is the foreground color and after doing that just come and paint on the skin so take your time as you're trying to paint on the skin so basically we have started the color grading step for editing this very image so zoom out so for this step we are basically trying to create even skin color or even skin tones for the model so take your time as you're trying to do this because we don't want to mess up when it comes to this first step so just take your time as you're trying to do this so just come also the first area reduce on the size and also paint on the first area so you have to avoid the eyes and the lips and you don't want to change or distort the original lipstick color or the original color of some areas on the skin so just do that and if at all you make a mistake switch the brush back to black and black is going to hide away or erase the areas you may have accidentally painted on so just take your time as you're doing this keep on switching between black and white and you have to play around with different sizes of the brush so i think this is okay so to erase it for example from the hair use a black brush and black is going to erase the effect so this is what we have right now and now the skin looks even so you can see before after before after but we have accidentally painted on the model's dress so we have to use a small brush so before after before after a small brush to paint back the original dress color so this is what we have right now before after before after so the next thing is going to be simply reducing on the opacity to your liking if at all you feel like the effect is too much for your liking so before and after now the skin is looking nice and uniform so the next thing that would love to do is simply color grading the image even more so we're going to create a stamp visible layer by pressing shift or shift 
Option Command E for Mac, then for Windows it is Shift Alternate Control E on the keyboard to pre to create a stamp visible layer. Then you're going to come back to Filter and come to Camera Row. And when you come to Camera Row, you're simply going to come to our Color Mixer option to the Luminous and simply slightly darken the oranges to add more contrast to the model's skin and you're going to come and hit OK. So when you click OK, just come once again and create a selective color adjustment layer. Increase, select blacks rather and increase on intensity of the blacks and come to the science and simply take the science up just to intensify on the darks or the blacks in the image. So before, after. So I'm going to create one more adjustment layer which is the black and white adjustment layer and change the blend mode from normal to multiply and simply calm the opacity and simply drop down the opacity to around 7 then create one final hue and saturation adjustment layer and change the to reds and simply calm the lightness and take down the lightness just like that to reduce on the overly saturated skin color I think that is okay. So after you have done that, the next thing is going to be coming and adding some tiny bit of contrast to the image to around, you're going to go with around two. Two is okay, two is fine. Then finally, we just want to do some little bit of eye whitening. So just come to the adjustments and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer. Come to master and simply make sure master is selected and take down the saturation negative 76 then press ctrl i or you can use command i on the keyboard zoom into the image by using ctrl plus or you can use command plus on the keyboard reduce on the size of the brush and just make sure white is the foreground color and paint in the white area of the eye to create that kind of eye and teeth whitening effect command minus to zoom out so this is what we have right now let me show the image for the Photoshop work we have done. So this is the image before, after, before, after, before, and after. So this is how you can easily edit. And finally, the next thing is going to be saving or exporting the photo after editing. So simply come right here to file and come to export and come to export as. And it's going to open up the export as window. So make sure the format is set to JPEG and make sure the quality is set all the way to 100%. Make sure the resample is set by cubic sharper. And after doing that, simply come and make sure convert to sRGB and also the embed color profile options are checked. And simply click on export to export or save the image in that location that you have chosen. So this is how you can easily edit a photo in Photoshop from the very start to the very end. And if at all you have enjoyed this, simply like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If at all you have been watching, and you are not yet subscribed to this channel. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in yet more videos on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.